Hey, badass business owner, are you thinking about adding a van, a truck, a forklift, maybe some other piece of equipment or gadget that you think is going to help you with your business? Well, one of the questions you need to ask yourself is how much do you need to sell in order for it to pay for itself? The biggest mistake I see people make when they buy stuff for their business is they never run the numbers. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so you just found this cool thing that you just swear up and down is gonna add thousands of dollars of sales to your business and you just got to have it because you know that sales are going to skyrocket and you just wanna have it and you're ready to go out and buy it now. Well, you need to slow down because you need to run the numbers. If you don't run the numbers, you're never going to find out, was it a smart purchase? And I have sat down with people that have bought equipment or bought these gadgets or these toys or these trucks or whatever the case may be. And guess what? Their profitability goes down dramatically because it wasn't a smart move for them to be able to buy that. They're not getting that return on that investment. Now, what you want to ask yourself is when is it going to pay for itself? Is it going to take a year? Is it going to take two years? Can you get it paid off in a, a month, a year? Now, this doesn't mean that because you have the cash, you can go out and pay for it now and it's already paid for itself. That's the ideal situation is when you have the money and you go do it. But at the same time, you still want to ask yourself, did you just waste that $2,000, $3,000, $4,000? Because just because you have the cash, it doesn't mean it was a good investment in your business. And that's what we want to find out. Now, we call this ROI, return on investment. So if you're going to take $3,000 in cash and go buy something, you want to make sure you're going to get something back in return. Now, the question is, how do you figure this out? So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Example number one, let's just say you have this gadget, it's going to cost a thousand bucks and you swear it's going to work. So how many jobs must you do in order for it to pay for itself? Thousand dollars doesn't sound like much. So you're thinking, oh, this shouldn't be too bad. Well, one of the things I preach, if you've been watching the channel at all, is the number one calculation you need to know is sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. You need to memorize. You don't have to memorize anything else, but you need to memorize sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. So let's take a look at this particular item because the first thing you need to do is figure out how much profit you're going to make off of any additional sales from this item. And sometimes it's going to be your overall business in the case of a truck, which we'll take an example of in a minute. But if it's a gadget, it's usually for a specific reason, for a specific job or a specific function, in which case you can sometimes boil it down to its individual sale that it's going to add or the add-on it's going to add to a, an additional current sale that you have. So in this case, let's just say it's this thousand dollars is going to lead to $250 sales. All right. Well, that doesn't mean it's 250 and into the thousand, it's four jobs. That's not the way it works, right? Because your money goes to other places. So the 250, let's just say that there's $90 in cogs. We got $50 in materials and there's always two hours of labor to, to use this tool to get this job done, in which case it's $90 in cost of goods and expenses run about 20%, in which case you need to set aside $50 out of every sale to pay your expenses. So that tells us that the profit that this new job, this add-on is going to provide for you is $110. So now you can figure out what's the break even point. When does it pay for itself? Well, we know it's $1,000. So if we divide it by the 110 in profit that we know it's going to bring us, it tells us that it will break even. We will make our money back after nine new sales. Now keep in mind, you're making no profit on those sales until you have done these nine sales. So you have to be ready for that because knowing this, it's going to let you know that you can need to do at least two a month. And if you do nine deals divided by two a month, that's going to tell you that you should have this paid off or at least its return on its investment in about four and a half months. Now, if you do all nine in one month, great, you're done in a month. But if it's one a month, then it's going to take nine months to get it done. So you want to figure out how many per month you're going to be able to use this gadget. There's a lot of people that buy gadgets that might use it once every six months. And if it's once every six months, it's going to take four years to get this thing paid off. So run the numbers and how often you're going to use it, especially people that have these high tech gizmos that they can buy. They really don't make their money back or are profitable for a couple of years just because of what they pay. Now let's do another one. Let's say it's a truck. Okay. And you need to figure out how much in additional sales you need to do to cover this new truck. Business is booming. You know, you need another truck or you need a new truck. What's it looking like? Let's say you go out and you find a screaming deal for $10,000 for this truck, but you need to figure out 
out how many more jobs you need to do in order for this truck to start paying for itself. Well, you know by getting this truck, your monthly increase, you think you can go up by 50%. So let's just say you do $10,000 a month right now. Well, you're expecting that 50% increase to mean you're gonna have your sales go from $10,000 up to $15,000. The place you need to start, because we're not doing individual jobs now, we're looking at the overall business, is you need to go to your profit and loss statement. Because remember, sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. Well, on your profit and loss, it's going to show you this. So your cost of goods over here, this one happens to run 47%, and then because that's the year-to-date column, and then over here, total expenses run 23%. I'm going to round these things up in our example, but just to kind of show you how if you go to your profit and loss, you can see where to get those numbers. So if we take a look at our calculation and sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits, we plug in the numbers. Well, we know we're going to get an additional 5,000 in sales. Remember, we thought we'd go from 10,000 to 5,000. So what this truck is going to bring us is an additional 5,000 in sales. And we know our cost of goods run about 50%, which means we're going to take off about 2,500 for the cost of goods. And then our expenses tend to run 20%, which is an additional $1,000, which means these new sales have a profit of $1,500. Now, what we're gonna do is we wanna figure out our break-even point. At what point will we start to make money? Well, the truck cost us $10,000, and we're going to get an additional $1,500 in profit every single month. So it's gonna take us about six and a half months in order for this truck to pay for itself. Now, remember, keep in mind, you are taking no new profit in your business while you try to break even. So when you buy this truck for the first six months, all the additional sales, and this is assuming you get the 5,000 in sales, are gonna go to paying off that truck. If your sales only go up $3,000, well, guess what? You're not gonna get paid even longer than the six months. So it's important that you know when you buy something, you want it to be able to pay for itself as quickly as possible. And you can only answer that question if you can ask yourself, can you afford to do that? Can you afford not to have any additional profit while you pay off that truck or that forklift or that other thing that you purchase? That's the biggest question you want to ask yourself because you don't start making new profit. A lot of times people will say, oh my God, my sales have gone up since I went and bought this. Okay, but your profits didn't go up. You're still paying off whatever it is that you bought. All right, hopefully that makes some sense. Now you're probably asking yourself, where do you start if you want to go ahead and start doing this for yourself? The easiest way is to understand your profit and loss. So you can grab those numbers off of there. And if you don't really understand your profit and loss, here's a video that you can take a look at. We'll make sure that's there in the show notes so that you can get it. And if you want to make sure that your pricing correctly, Correctly, don't forget to check out these two videos as well. And if you want to learn your business numbers better, don't forget to check out the course down below, Know Your Business Numbers, where we help you understand those suckers. And please subscribe, hit the like button, tell people they really should watch this video if they want to get a good idea on if they can afford that piece of equipment or truck that they want to buy. And with that, get out there and be the badass that I know you are.